today is we are going to discuss about the application structure or the folder structure uh, so you can easily familiar with the coding editor and the coding editor environment so now as you know we have downloaded the two versions this version we have downloaded manually and app start this ver this version we have downloaded from by using the composer okay we keeping this cs setup so open this as you can see we have few folders so extra large or not okay it's better now as you can see you have app folder ignore this one and also ignore this one and also ignore this one okay you have a spark we will discuss about this part now you have a composer so you know these files available at the root but keep in mind you have app folder you have public folder you have system folder and also you have tastes folder definitely you have user guide and writable one two three four five six six folders available basically the app folder or the app directory is where all of your applications code lives open this up as you can see you have config controllers database filters helpers language libraries models third party views don't worry we are going to discuss each and everything step by step in related lectures but for now i'm just telling you that in the app these folders available uh, when we discuss about the MVC design patterns then definitely we discuss the model and the purpose of the view this view and the purpose of the controller uh, while working on database we will discuss about the database folder and we also discuss about the config folder okay now we have another folder is system so as you can see this is the system folders the 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 system folders file that makes up the PH, uh, this coding letter frameworks itself make sure you don't need to touch this folder because all the core files are all the coding letter core files available here okay so you also have the public folder in the public folder so as you can see you have the .htaccess file and the fav icon as you can see this is the index.php file and uh, this is the robot file okay so if you are familiar with coding editor 3 and coding editor 4 you know very well that index file index.php file available at the root at the root okay so as you can see this is the root and index.php file is not here because of the security purpose they have shifted the index.php file from root to the public directory so the public folder holds the browser accessible portion of your web applications preventing direct access to your source code so they are saying they are means uh, coding editor for documentation is saying okay so you know very well and you know very well that if you write the coding nighter localhost and ci4 dash public so it's automatically executing your index.htm index.php file okay go to the folder structure back so now you have another folder named tabs tests the direct the directory or this directory is set to hold your test files it means you can also uh, keep your test files here and uh, also you have a docs folder or you have a user guide folder so the directory is set up to hold your uh, sorry uh, you have the php documentations here means uh, you also do the coding editor for coding editor for documentations live here and i think here is the doc documentation this is a bad box okay coding editor 4 so this is the official documentation of the coding editor 4 and it's also available here in the 
user guide folders and definitely they have a docs folders and uh, according to the documentations uh, they says they say if the docs directory is part of your project it holds a local copy of your coding writer for user guide and also you have the oi table directory so as you can see you have your cache debug logs sessions and also uploads directory here and of course the dot hd access file also available here if you are not familiar with dot hd access file don't worry we'll discuss in our related lectures that how can you use the dot hd access file and uh, according to the coding nighter for documentations they says the directory holds any directories that might need to be written to in the course of an applications life okay you can also for suppose if you are creating the cache you have to place that that cache here and debugger so we will discuss about the debugger and we will discuss about the log sessions uh, in this series but for now app system test sorry app and the public these are the two folders and of course the right table these are the three folders we always use in this series and uh, in the next lecture we are going to cover the app folder what are the folders available here and why we need them because <laughs> okay uh, for now i think this is enough in the next lecture we are going to cover the app folder so thank you for watching